we are at Father Verga's Cross. This is a place that Father Verga actually came to in 1846. He came from Madeline Island and he came here to be able to help the Ojibwe. So Cross River is right behind us over here and he actually came during a mostly very perilous storm. <laughs> it is not wise to cross Lake Superior <laughs> at all and to take it from Madeline Island to this direction. Um, he decided to do it because he was in need of being able to meet up with the Ojibwe. And he landed right here at the sandbar. And originally this cross was actually done by him. So it was actually made, he went into the woods after he landed because it was such a perilous journey. And um, picked up two, uh, grabbed two trees essentially, cut down two trees, in the, made it in the form of a cross specifically so that the Ojibwe would know that he arrived and he arrived safely to the region. If anybody's heard of the tour circle around Lake Superior, pretty much half of that tour circle, you'll find spots that Father Bear got, <laughs> was a participant in. He was all around Lake Superior. So first of all, Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake by shoreline in the entire world. So to be able to go around Lake Superior and to establish the number of missions that he did is not a small feat by any means. It is an entirely large lake.